Greetings, greetings. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I don't just want to come on and bring a quick word. Sorry that it's late. Brother Anthony, thanks for joining, sir. God bless you. Do me a favor, invite your followers. Lift up those hearts. Thank you for joining. Like I said, I told y'all it was going to be a late one. Come on in, come on in. I told y'all it's going to be a late one. But I was 137 my time. And I want to deal with something that's going on every day. And this is a spirit. And not too many people know it, but we're going to talk about this thing tonight. We're going to deal with this spirit tonight. And this is something that's been on my mind for the past couple of weeks because I noticed I noticed this spirit on people of God. So we're going to talk about this tonight. Thanks for joining. Let's see who we all got on tonight. God bless y'all. Thanks for joining. Lift up those hearts. Invite your followers. It's going to be a good one. Y'all know me. <laughs> so when I come on, you know I got a word. I don't, I avoid useless scopes. So when I come on here, expect for me to bring you some kind of word. And expect you to sit down, man, get you some water, sit tight, do what you got to do, because you know it's going to be 30 minutes or greater. <laughs> so, uh, and what I like to encourage somebody to do, whatever you do, be dedicated for the Lord. Don't have to do nothing. If you're going to do something, do it all the way. Blessings to you, God star. Yes, we can. We gonna, But see, but I want to encourage you. We're going to pray, but I want to say this. So many times we like to have do things. If you're going to do something, do it all the way. But if you know that he that began a good work in you shall perform it to the very end, you should have that same mentality that if I'm going to start something, I'm going to finish it. So if you want to dedicate your life to do something or dedicate your life to God, find you something to do for God. Whatever it is, say, God, anoint me to do what you need me to do. And God, let me not be slowful. Get rid of the spirit of slowful. Let's be dedicated in this hour. And I know this word was for somebody. So anytime I speak a word, Anytime I speak a word over you, that word is for somebody. If I'm being pulled by God, trust and believe that word is for somebody. But God bless you. I thank y'all for joining. And I want to bring this word because, y'all, this is something that we deal with every day. It might be in your relationship. It might be on your job. It might be in your friendship. This is a spirit that we deal with every day. And I'm going. And what I did was I wrote down topics so I can touch so I can touch on each thing so I won't miss nothing so you'll be able to get this full teaching tonight but uh, I see somebody ask for prayer so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go on prayer and uh, if you got prayer just say me and we're going to go ahead and get this thing started my cousin is a man but now I identify as a woman but we're going to pray for that because something you got to realize like I was saying everything we deal with is attached to a spirit there's always a spirit behind what we do. There's a spirit behind fornication. There's a spirit behind pride. There's a spirit behind homosexuality. Which is that? It's always a spirit connected to something. But I'm going to deal with one thing tonight. And that's the spirit of control. But y'all, we're going to go ahead and pray. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm looking for you to bring your anointing. Your people need you. We need deliverance. And somebody's crying out for you, Lord. Lord, we need your help in this hour. And Lord, we need a strong visitation from you in this hour. Let people be changed and let your people have a revelation. And Lord, turn hearts to you in this hour. Let people be convicted of what they do. Fill people with the Holy Ghost and let your people be led by your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we're looking for you and we're looking for a word in this hour and we're looking for peace in this hour so father on this scope i ask for a special anointing to fall upon your people and i ask you lord to anoint my mouth and let your people see you and not me in jesus name amen but anyway am i wrong for wanting a divorce for cheating on me and him? no but see that's something talk to god about that because if you haven't made up in your mind it is something that you want to end move forward but that's just like two people wanting to go to, let's see, therapy. 
you got it made up in your mind that that's not going to work. So it's pointless to even go. You see, so if, if you if you feel like it's over, get a divorce and be done with it. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to keep dragging something on and on again. You falling in and out of love. Just let it go. But before you do anything, you talk to God first. Don't you just up and leave without talking to God. All right. But anyway, we're going to talk about this tonight. And uh, I want to talk about the spirit of control. I want to talk about you welcome. I want to talk about the spirit of control because a lot of us deal with this in our relationships. We deal with it on our jobs. We deal with it in friendship. And so many of us allow this spirit to rule over our lives. But see, so many people say, okay, what is control? But I'm going to tell you what control is. Control is the power to influence or to direct people's behaviors or course the events or domination or command. You know, you got those people. They always want to be in control. They always want to say, you do this, do that. But see, so many people don't understand that control. There's a spirit behind that thing. There's a spirit that's driving that person to be the way they are. This is why I say there are so many things we have to be delivered from. But see, control is something that is in the root of somebody's heart. See, a lot of people, they're not just like that because of what they are. They like that because they picked up a spirit. You see what I mean? And see, what I'm saying is so many times we overlook it. But anytime you feel... Anytime you feel there's a stronghold, anytime you feel somebody's holding you back or they say you do this, you do that, that's control. But see, I want to encourage somebody tonight to get control over your own life. Stop letting people control you because this is what we're going to touch on tonight. So many of you don't realize that, can, that the spirit of control, that's a form of witchcraft. Anytime you easily bow down to somebody that you they bark at you like a dog, they tell you if they tell you to jump, you say how high. You see what I mean? That's control. That's a spirit, and that's something that has to be rebuked. So many times we ignore what witchcraft really is. You ignore what that is. Don't you know witchcraft can be performed by words and actions? People by your words, that's a form of witchcraft. The things that you say. Do this, do that. That's control. That's a form of witchcraft. But I want to talk about this tonight because this is something, this is something that we don't really deal with. This is something that we overlook different spirits that actually that, that, that has a name behind it. Fear. There's a spirit of fear. There's a spirit of control. These are all things that are forms of witchcraft. But I want to talk about this tonight. And how do people use control? So many people like to put, make you feel guilt. They like to put shame. They like to send you on a guilt trip because you don't do what they do. And easily, they want to get mad. They want to get mad because you didn't bow down to them. That's somebody that trying to put on control. That's somebody that's basically performing witchcraft on you and you know nothing about it. See, this is what I'm saying. A person that has a controlling spirit. Is something within themselves. And like I was saying, this is something that the enemy, the people allow the enemy to move in and that spirit took control of them. And what it did was people like to use that. People like to be, some people are never satisfied. Some people are never satisfied until they have control over your life, until they have control over your money. People want to control your life. But I came to let you know tonight, we're going to deal with this spirit tonight. That is something that has to be rebuked. That's a form of witchcraft, and so many people ignore that. So people that you that you deal with day to day, they have to have authority. They have to be in charge over everything. No, that's the spirit. That's the spirit of control. But I want to deal with this because anytime you have somebody, and I'm, finna, I'm sp about to speak directly to somebody, Anytime you have somebody that try to make you feel shame and guilt about what you don't do, but if you don't obey their commands, that's control. You see what I mean? If you don't, if you don't agree with what they want to agree with, that's control. Or they'll look down on you because you didn't do what they asked you to do. That's control. Some of you are in a controlling relationships. Yeah, but you know something, we're going to get to that too. We're going to get to that too. But see, some of you are in controlling relationships. A relationship is not supposed to be 
you do this, you do that. He said submit, but he didn't say control. You see what I mean? If you married to your husband, you married to your wife, there should be a compromise. There shouldn't be no control. You see what I mean? You should be able to compromise. But see, that's the spirit. But this is what I want to help somebody. And I don't know why. What's crazy is, I don't know why God gave me this topic. Because this is something that I've been watching. And I've been watching how people have to have control over everything. It's like they have to be in charge. Why do you want so much power? You know what that is? That's the spirit. Anytime somebody wants to rule over things, anytime somebody wants to take control over everything in your life, that's a spirit and that's a form of witchcraft. But see, I'm going to talk to you how to get how to get rid of that thing. As you know, resist the devil and he'll flee, right? It's the same as a spirit. You have to rebuke that spirit. You see what I'm saying? Because that spirit that is on that person, you have to rebuke it. Because if not, that person is going to keep trying to use that same old witchcraft against you. They're going to keep trying to make you feel guilt. They're going to keep, they're going to keep trying to make you feel shame all because they want full control over your life. Don't you know? Don't you know God can set you free from that? You don't have to be like that. You don't have to be bound by other people. You're in bondage because of the people. You're in bondage because people, you let people control your life over and over again. That you don't even know your own identity because you allow people to control you. No, it's time for you to break free. It's time for you to let you know I will rule over my own life. I will not let that man rule over me. I will not let that woman rule over me. Some people are never satisfied until they get full control over you. That's just how some people are. But that's the spirit. That's something we have to deal with. That's something you have to rebuke on that person. Take some oil. Lay hands on them if you got to. <laughs> Anything. Pray on that person that God can free them. Because that's something that has to be torn down in the spirit. But see, I want to talk about this. Because you cannot overlook a spirit. Like I say, there's a spirit connected to everything. There's a spirit connected to it. There's a, a, a spirit connected to how you feel each day. But this is why I want to talk about this. And how to break free from it. Like I say, you break free from that by rebuking that thing. You break free from that by taking control of your own life. Stop letting people rule over you. It's time to take authority over your own life. But I can't, as a man of God, I can't just send you this word. It's time for you to be free. It's time for you to make up your mind that I will not allow this person to take control of my life any longer. I will not allow this person to keep me in bondage. I can't do it no more. God help me. God help him deliver him from that spirit. There's something you got to go to God to, to help you with that thing. You see what I mean? But I want to bring this message y'all because so many times we use witchcraft and don't even know we're using it. Like I was saying, your words are witchcraft. So many people don't understand witchcraft can be used in many different forms. It's not just uh, using a candle. It's not just using a candle. Or calling out spells your words is spell so anytime you constantly speaking with authority and trying to get rule and trying to get command over people and demanding this and that that's the spirit and what you're doing is you're speaking over that person you're speaking over that person and now that person's mind is going to be controlled by your words their thoughts because of what you have planted in them that's witchcraft Come on, you, you don't get it? That's witchcraft. It's a form of witchcraft. That's why I told you that the spirit of control is a form of witchcraft. Anything that takes authority of your mind, anything that can sway you to make decisions, what do you think that is? That's a spirit. See, I'm trying to help somebody. See, there's people that have used this thing on you over and over again. But now you're coming to terms with it, what this is. That's the spirit. And God can set you free from that tonight. 
and you can want to break free from that. If you got somebody trying to rule your life, and you know that's not of God, and you know they're trying to belittle you, they're trying to put you in shame, they're trying to put that guilt trip on you, say, no, I will not let you allow that spirit to control me any longer. And I break the spirit of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus. No, you got, you got to break free from that. Because these are people every day, they are not satisfied until they fully indulge in that spirit. You know, you got to open up a door for a spirit to come in. You got to open up the door for anger to come in. Because your flesh works with these spirits. Did you know that? Your flesh will allow you to be angry. Your flesh will allow you to sin. So what your flesh does, your flesh opens up other doors for these spirits. Yeah. But I want to deal with this tonight. Because I see so many of you in a controlling marriage, you're in a controlling friendship, you done lost, you done lost hold of your own life. Because people have let you let the spirit of control rule over you. Mm -mm. Just by other people. Some of you have been kept from your own family members because of somebody you've been with by control. You can't even spend your own money because of control. You letting somebody else control everything you do. God has authority over you. You need to break free from that spirit. I'm talking to somebody. Because somebody needs this word tonight. That you've been bound by people. People have had a grip on you. They've had a stronghold on you. But God can cut that stronghold off. You can have your life back. You can be free. And those that the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen. Who wants to be free from that? Who wants to be free from bondage? Who wants to be free from the spirit of control? You got to make up in your mind that you want your life back. Do whatever, you, do whatever it is that you got to do to be free. I want to send this message because somebody needed it. Anytime God pull on me to do a message, I know it's for somebody. And I don't worry about what I'm going to say because I know he's going to anoint it. Because I know he's going to give that word to somebody that needs help. Somebody needs deliverance. Somebody needs a word to get their answers. Amen. But you got your answer tonight. It's time for you to break away from that person that's controlled you all your life. And you let these people do it. You let these people have authority. You've given people power over your life. God is the only one that has power in your life. Stop giving these people all that charge. You've given in to that spirit. And we're talking about the spirit of control. You let these people control you. You let this spirit rule over your life. I'm talking to somebody. There's some things you shouldn't allow. Don't you want to be free from that? Don't you want to be free from that stronghold? Mm -mm. It's time for you to come out of that. It's time for you to be free from that. Take authority over your life. Take authority now. Because God is speaking in this hour. And these spirits, y'all, you cannot rebuke a spirit if you're not going in Jesus' name. You cannot break down witchcraft if you're not going in Jesus' name. You got to begin to call on God if you want God to move for you or do anything for you. God can move you out of that situation you're in. And this word is for somebody. God wants to take you out of that situation. You've been in that situation way too long. And it's time for you to be removed. But God's going to remove you out of that thing. Stop letting people control your mind. You let people even control the way you think. You can't even think on your own. You can't even make a decision on your own because you let somebody control your life. So you let everybody alter your decisions. 
It's time for you to take authority over your own life. It's time for you to do for you. Stop relying on other people. Because you've given these people all that power. That's why they have control over you right now. Mm -mm -mm. But God wants to restore you from that. You letting that you letting that spirit break you down. You letting somebody control you to the point. You let them control you to the point that you feel like you don't have no future. You feel like you have to cater to them. You can't even put yourself first anymore. Because you allow that spirit to control you. You allow the spirit of control from another person. Come in and dictate your life. No. No. Christ didn't die on the cross for you for that. Christ died so you can be free. Christ, Christ came so you may have life and have it more abundantly, right? That means being free from other spirits that's trying to control your life. Mm -mm. You can break free from that. You can break free from that. But I came to bring this message. Because so many people are bound by the spirit. You wouldn't actually believe how many people battle the spirit of control. And it's coming from somebody else. They, that spirit has came in and just gripped you. And you can't even move forward. It's like, it, it, it's like you, it, you're in a cage. You're in a dark cage. Go this way. Go that way. They, you, you're somebody else's pet. Stop being somebody else's puppet. Stop letting somebody control you. No. Let God lead you. And this is for somebody else. If somebody really loved you. Or whatever the case it may be. They will respect you. They will be able to compromise. But for somebody to have to try to control everything you do, that's that spirit on them. Ask God to remove that spirit off them. And if you, and now I'm speaking to somebody now. Now if you, if you got that spirit and you trying to control people, that's not of God. And if it's you, if you feel like you got to be right, you got to control, you like to demand people, you like to have it your way, it, everything, it ain't Burger King all the time. It ain't have it your way all the time. No, that's not right. Let people make their own choices. You see what I mean? That's a spirit that has to be broke off you in Jesus' name. Say, God, I know that's not of you. God, deliver me from that spirit. Because I don't want to try to rule, take authority over somebody else's life when I barely have authority over my own. Come on now. But, but that's a spirit. That's a spirit that's on that person. You're going to have to eventually walk away from that. But if that person want to put their hands on you and you allow it, guess what? That witchcraft spirit has a hold on you. And what that person has done, they have beaten your head over and over, telling you ain't nobody else going to want you. You can't go nowhere. You can't do this. That's the spirit of control. That's the spirit of witchcraft. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. That spirit is t has taken over your mind to make you think it's okay. No, it's not okay. Yes, it's a stronghold. No, that's a spirit that has to be cast down. I came to deal with that spirit tonight. Because somebody's battling with that. Somebody trying to break free from that. You trying to escape from somebody with that controlling spirit. Somebody wants to be free. 
But God can set you free tonight if you want it. There are so many people abused and beaten up and being controlled like that. You know, some people can't even, y'all, some people can't even leave the house. They can't even go to the mailbox because they control. You know, some people be in these relationships. They can't even spend two dollars without getting in trouble. That's control. God ain't never intended for you to be happy like that. Come on now. Unhappiness. You 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 in bondage by people. But God can break that stronghold. You get those demons off you in Jesus' name. But you keep seeking God and seeking God until them things get off you. Ask God to release you from that thing. Those are spirits. And how many of you know those spirits manifest together? There can actually be two or three spirits working together. Not only is that control, that spirit of control will probably produce fear in you. So now you got the spirit of fear and you got, you got the spirit of control working against you. So the spirits manifest with each other. You see what I'm saying? They grow, they feed off each other. So now by this person controlling your life, now you got fear of this person. You see what I mean? All it did was produce another spirit. I'm trying to help somebody. So now you fear for your life because you're afraid if I don't obey this person, if I don't obey what they, obey their commands, if I don't do what they say, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. No, step out on faith and break free from that. That's bondage. Why you want to live in bondage? I'm trying to help somebody tonight. And why God, and see, this, and see, this is what's so strange about the anointing. Why God brought me this way to do this? Because he knew it was for somebody. Stop letting these people control you. That's a witchcraft spirit, and it's producing fear in your heart. And not only that, it's pulling you away from God. And if anybody pulls you away from praising God or they pull you away from the church and they try to control you, try to control every single thing you do by that spirit, that's not of God. Mm -mm. Anytime you let a man or anytime you let a woman come in between your relationship with God, that's a problem. Don't let that man, don't let that woman become your idol. Don't let people become your idol. Don't let people be the one you worship. Yes, that's the devil. But you know what, God story? So many people are bound by that spirit. And like I say, that spirit produces fear in people. Not only do they have to battle against somebody that has that witchcraft spirit, now they have fear. Now they have a spirit attacking them. Now they have fear in their heart. You see what I'm saying? Because that spirit that you were dealing with allowed a spirit to be produced. You, that spirit got conjured up. And see, God doesn't give us the fear of, uh, the spirit of fear. He doesn't give that. He's a God of peace, love. That's not of God. But believe it or not, so many people get pulled away by the spirit of control. That's what happened. But I want to encourage somebody tonight. Because I can feel it in my spirit. Somebody needed this message. Somebody needed this. You've been controlled by people. That you don't even have a life. You've let this spirit rule over you for far too long. It's time to cut the axe to the root tonight. It's time for you to get your breakthrough tonight. It's time for you to move forward with your life now. Stop letting people have authority over you. Stop giving these people power. You've given these people power. That's why you let that's why you gave into the spirit. 
because you've given these people too much power. If you give a spirit power, if you feed into that spirit, that spirit now has rule over you. Yeah. If you give into the into that spirit, if you feed into that spirit, that spirit now has authority over you. But it's going to take God to break that thing off you. And you're going to have to go in Jesus' name. See, you know you can feed on something. You can feed on something for so long that that thing will torment you and it will take over your whole entire life. And that's not something you want. Is it still frozen? just did it okay good now i'm just making sure because i don't want people to miss this if it's still frozen just go out and come back in but i want to deal with this spirit of control because somebody wants to break free from that somebody got their answer tonight not only that you got confirmation you got confirmation tonight that that's the spirit you're dealing with and that's a spirit on that person. Or that may be a spirit in you. You might have the spirit of control. And that's something you have to get broken off you. You have to ask God to get that thing off you. You can't control people like that. That's not of God. Then you get mad. You make people feel guilty. You make them feel, you make them feel like that because you didn't get your way. Because you insecure, you ins you in you inconsiderate about other people's feelings. Mm -mm, that's a spirit, and you need to change. And it's gonna take God to change you. You see, not only I want to talk about the spirit on other people. See, I want to deal with somebody else too, because it's you that got that spirit on you. You see what I mean? It's you that's using that witchcraft spirit against other people. But see, God wants to deliver you from that. God wants to set you free from that. There's so many people look in the body of Christ that are walking in spirits that are not of God. Because you indulge in sin for so long that you open up the door for these spirits to come in and deal with you. Now these spirits don't go because you don't know how to cast them out. You're not even going in Jesus' name. You can't cast out no spirit not going in Jesus' name. It's not possible. You see what I'm saying? If you open up a door, you're going to invite other spirits in. Come on now. You can't feed into that spirit. You can't hold that spirit and try to walk with God like that. It's going to hinder the move of God. Yeah. But I want to deal with that tonight, y'all. And how many of y'all enjoyed that word? That was a good word, and uh, because a lot of people deal with that, and they don't even know it. But see what it is? That's a witchcraft spirit. You're welcome. That's a witchcraft spirit. And see, people, that, that spirit right there, that, that's, there's, uh, there's sneaky spirits. You don't even know it's witchcraft, but it is. Anytime somebody can speak words into you and put fear into you, that's witchcraft, y'all. And that's not of God. Anytime another spirit produces fear or produces anger, one spirit seduces another spirit. You see what I mean? And you can invoke a spirit up by what you do. You can invoke spirits by what you do. Anyway, God bless y'all. I hope somebody received his word, and I hope this gave somebody life. And I hope this brought confirmation because that's a spirit that has to be dealt with. Do you want to be free? Do you want God to take control over your life? Ask God to manifest his spirit into your life. 
say, God, replace, move out, move these other spirits out and replace it with your spirit. Let your Holy Spirit be upon me. God, lead me. God, behold my hand through every situation of my life. I hold my hand through this situation that I'm in with this person. It was a good word, but it, it I mean, it, uh, it's, it's something that God led me to do. It's something that he led me to do, and when he, when he leads me to do it, I'll be obedient. But it's all about getting the word out for the people. It's about being obedient to God. When God tell you to do something, do it. When he tell you to do it, just do it. Anyway, y'all, glad y'all received this message. Any questions, always remember, you can email me as well. You can email me, and my email is on the profile. You need prayer. Anybody need prayer, let me know. Any questions, let me know. But like I say, my email is on the profile. You can always reach out. Email is always open. I'm always online as well. But I'm glad y'all enjoyed this message. And I'm sorry it's late. But these people, they uh, they got me working late. Late hours. So. And we had an event this past weekend. God bless you as well. God bless you as well. But we had an event this weekend. It was called Cruising the Coast. And uh, it was pretty nice. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But like I say, I, I'm glad God let me use this topic. And I thank him for just trusting me with the anointing. Because I don't know, I don't even know how to minister without God. It's like I come on and he gives me the word to say. I mean, it, it's, it's crazy how he gives you, it's crazy how he gives you a topic. And he just tell you to speak. He just give you the anointing. That's why I say don't be afraid to let God use you. Can you pray direct for me? Yes, I can. We can pray. Yeah. And if any man needs wisdom, ask of God. I mean, this ain't nothing because there's another anointing God wants to take me in. There's another anointing. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and pray for Betty. I think Betty, that's you that need prayer. Anybody else need prayer? That's God. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost, God star. Anyway, y'all, we're going to go ahead and pray. And right now, I'm going to need Betty. I'm going to need you to receive this. Pray for Bruce. His name is Caitlin. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you now seeking your face, O oh God, and we come seeking your spirit. And Father, we need you to move in this hour. We need you to touch. We need you to manifest. And Lord, bring forth the spirit of revelation because God, your people need answers. Your people need to be set free. And God, we bind up the spirit of control. We bind up the spirit of fear. Anything that has, has hindered your move in these people's lives, anything that has hindered your people from moving forward, we break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus, and we break down the stumbling block that has been placed by the enemy. But Father, we thank you for everything you've done. And Lord, we thank you for just moving in this hour, God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name. God, bring joy. Bring peace. Bring peace and restoration, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let your people know who you are. Let them know what your power is and let them know who you are. Reveal yourself to your people, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, God, we give you praise. We give you glory. Even under pressure, Lord, let our lives be sweet. And as tonight as we lay down, give us sweet sleep as well, Jesus, because we need rest. Somebody needs rest tonight. And God, we need you to speak in this hour. And Lord, help your people to learn and to listen and give us wisdom in this hour. Give us more understanding because your people are looking for understanding as well, Jesus. And Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. 
We plead the blood of Jesus against any sickness. We plead the blood of Jesus against our finances. And we plead the blood of Jesus against our homes in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you, O oh God, those that are weary. God, we ask you to strengthen them and give them rest in this hour, Jesus. And give your people anticipation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Just for what you're doing in this hour. And not only that, God, let your people have hope in everything from this day forward. Let your people see you. Let them see you in everything that they do. And let them come around and give you glory, God. We give you praise. Even under pressure, oh God. Even in the midst of pain. God, we still give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Trust God in the midst of what you're going through. Trust Him. But this is not the time to be discouraged because, see, God wants to bring, God wants to bring you somewhere else. God's tired of you sitting in the same spot. It's time for somebody to move forward. It's time for somebody to make up in their mind that I want something better for my life. Mm -mm. We need something new. So I prophesy newness of life. And I prophesy restoration in the spiritual and the natural in Jesus' name. Receive it. Anyway, y'all be blessed. Uh, tomorrow I'll come on. Probably bring a quick word. Uh, got revelation. Revelation after revelation. So tomorrow I'll be expecting a word. God bless you as well. Like I say, my email is there. You can email me as well. Which I'll be blessed. Y'all have a good night.